what have been some of the more unusual places that you two have been approached uh, by aspiring screenwriters who had scripts they wanted to sell? Well, I hate to break the myth, but that really doesn't happen because uh, in Hollywood, everybody knows that you can be sued. So and, and the truth of the matter is, in the old days of Hollywood, when Jerry and I first started, it was true. We used to pull up to gas stations, and, they would, and the gas station table would come up on Sunset Boulevard, and you'd drive away, and you'd find in the back seat of your car there'd be a script with a note on it. That doesn't really happen anymore. Well, it, ha it happened to me just two nights ago. Oh, it, very, it does happen. Very, very interesting. <laughs> I, was, I was at a hockey game, and I was standing talking to Michael Eisner, who's the head of Disney, and a young little boy came up to me, and he, and he handed me a card, and he says, my daddy has a whole bunch of screenplays that he wants to give you. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and, and Michael said, we should hire this kid. <laughs> He's very aggressive. That's great. <laughs> we have made changes. Uh, when we made uh, Flashdance, we realized that, that, that we didn't give the audience enough at the end. And we went out and shot a new ending for the movie, or a, an ending we had initially scripted but never shot. Um, in, in Top Gun, uh, the audience loved the love story so much, we gave them two more scenes of it. So the audiences really help you decide what the end product's going to be to a certain extent. Uh, you can't go uh, overboard, but uh, we certainly include them in the process because that's who you want to please ultimately. Well, you know, they were very cooperative uh, in initially on, on Crimson Tide. Uh, but unfortunately, once they read the script, uh, the mutiny scared them. And they uh, said, this couldn't happen. Uh, if you take it out, we'll be glad to cooperate with you. But we're not into documentaries, and this is a drama, and the mutiny is the heart and soul of the piece. So we couldn't change it, and we had to do it without the Navy. I'm just wondering, one day, do either of you want to write an autobiography about the, your experiences in Hollywood? Uh, I intend to, absolutely. I wouldn't live through all this pain if I wasn't going to write about it. Someday you never know. <laughs>